Hi, I'm Mike Bain from Christian Voice New Zealand. I've got a question for you. What if the last year was only a taste of what's to come? You know, one of the ways the global cabal is attempting to implement the Great Reset in the Fourth Industrial Revolution is by putting global supply chains at risk to bring the economy to its knees. The narrative being sold to the public goes like this. The new wave of COVID-19 infections caused by various Greek letter variants, major disruptions due to natural disasters attributed to climate change, of course, and cyber attacks targeting key industries are causing worker shortages and the inability for ships and other major transport systems to reach their destination. This shortage of workers and goods such as food and computer chips plays right into the globalist stooge's hands. As prices skyrocket, the economy will further deteriorate and panic will rule the day. People desperate for the basic necessities will turn to looting and violence, which will give governments a new excuse to lock down and sub subdue their populations. The true narrative, though, points to the global forces using these unfolding calamities as the perfect convergence of a manufactured problem-reaction-solution scenario. These existential crises are deliberately put in motion to move the world towards global governance based on the UN Agenda 2030 Sustainable Development Goals, a new blockchain-based financial system and a China-like surveillance system. Pandemics, climate change, cyber terror and manufactured supply shortages are Trojan horses used to remove individual rights, destroy nations and governments and push people into a new technocratic society. All of these events allow governments to implement emergency measures while consolidating more power. As these scenarios play out, control mechanisms such as biometric surveillance, smart technology, social credit, universal basic income, mandatory vaccinations and digital ID slash wallet systems are steadily materialising. A new article in the Insurance Journal provides details to the changes rapidly taking place as the global supply chain is threatened. Now, the article states that events have conspired to drive global supply chains towards breaking point, threatening the fragile flow of raw materials, parts and consumer goods, according to the company's economist and shipping specialist. Automakers, for example, are again being forced to stop production because of disruptions caused by COVID-19 outbreaks. The Toyota Motor Corp said recently it had to halt operations at plants in Thailand and Japan because they couldn't get parts. Buckling supply chains are already hitting New Zealand, but more importantly, the United States and China, the world's economic motors that together account for more than 40% of global economic output. This could lead to a slowdown in the global economy, along with rising prices for all manner of goods and raw materials. Ports across the globe are suffering the kinds of log jams not seen in decades, according to industry players. The China Port and Harbour Association said that freight capacity continued to be tight. A cyber attack hit South African container ports in Cape Town and Durban just recently, adding further disruptions at the terminals. And if that's not enough, in Britain the official health app has told hundreds of thousands of workers to isolate following contact with someone with COVID-19, leading to supermarkets warning of a short supply and some petrol stations closing. Another recent article from The Conversation details how extensive the shortages are, stating it expands to include a whole range of products like lumber and other building materials, tools, foodstuffs, seeds, furniture, cleaning supplies, aluminium cans, jars, pools, pool equipment, chemicals, bicycles, camping gear, household appliances and replacement parts of all kinds. In many cases, supply chains have been simultaneously squeezed on both ends, supply and demand. The empty store shelves that dotted the landscape at the beginning of last year's pandemic is only a taste of what is to come. I've already spoken about the shortages of food supplies in a previous podcast, but here in New Zealand, our farmers are also facing shortages and increasing pressure from the government towards sustainable farming, which will reduce their output. You may recall the story of the container ship which blocked both lanes of the Suez Canal and kept vessels from crossing for an entire week, leading to inflated oil prices and long shipping delays. Now, these events, along with a cyber pandemic, could easily trigger a worldwide crisis, 
World Economic Forum frontman and globalist Klaus Schwab has warned of an event to come that could make the coronavirus pandemic seem like a small disturbance. The World Economic Forum-sponsored cyber polygon events have been creating simultations of massive cyber attacks that would completely disrupt finance, global trade, power grids and life as we know it. The question is not will these simultations go live in the near future, but when. Thank you for watching. Help us to spread this message by sharing it within your own network. For more information, jump online to our website, christianvoicenewzealand.com.